and welcome back and a happy new year and I can't believe we're already two days into 2016 but here's the update since the last one on the 29th so the uh, the top of the fuselage or the roof and and sides the um, finish milling was already done on the foam here and so this is cutting in the channel for um, the right side parachute strap so there's two of these channels and they basically consist of a channel and a little bit of an a um, little bit of a flange in there and then um, a hole where the pin will go through to hold the actual strap so here this is just running the first pass where it's cutting the channel itself and I just have it you know running back and forth to cut it out so next thing is cutting out the, uh, the hole where the parachute strap pin will be and here I'm using a 3 8 of an inch ball and and just sort of going up and down creating this uh, this sort of indentation um, using basically a back and forth process there and this is the other side and that's what it looks like when it's finished so it actually does a nice job there so that will have a stainless steel pin going through there to hold the strap and then the strap lays in the channel and then it's all covered over and painted and so on uh, Thursday um, Jeff was priming um, some other parts there and the guys are in the back there sanding away um, sanding those other parts that had the top coat and this is the um, overhead console and here's the keel those are both primed and Jeff was priming the firewall there in the picture so those just need a light sanding now and then they'll be ready for their top coat as well and this is the cabin again just finishing off the uh, right hand side here so I split this into upper and lower just made it easier to run the passes because I had to run the long bit on the sides and the short bit on the top um, so that's what it looks like pretty much finished and then I'll have a whole bunch of pencil traces cut in the finished uh, plug there which will translate through onto the part so we can see where the cuts need to be made to cut out things like the windows and such and that's the view from the from the rear end side and then you can see how the parachute straps come back into where the engine compartment will be so they actually came out really nicely I'm happy with that and so the nose was back on the mill um, on on New Year's Eve and I worked on on um, New Year's Day and also today just running all the paths on this so here it's cutting out the uh, the um, indent for where the baggage compartment door is in the nose where it's sort of recessed there so that was a, a separate path just a little bit deeper cut than the rest of it and actually Mill's doing a nice job there now giving a nice finish and this part won't need hardly any sanding at all really so it's kind of good taking sort of a load off the guys and here it is just sort of starting the cut on the left hand side there um, around just above where the where the joggle is where the, where the upper and lower um, skins will mate together so mill actually comes in pretty quick sometimes but I'm sort of getting confident that it knows what it's doing and I haven't I'm yet to have it sort of come blazing in and make a big mess usually when it's making a mess it's in the middle of doing something and there's usually something weird in the tool path but I'm getting better at recognizing when those things are going to happen and avoiding them by adjusting the tool path so here uh, this time switch to the three-quarter inch uh, ball mill and cutting the joggle here and so because this is sort of really underneath it's, it's not possible to get in there with a flat end mill so you cut it on an angle with the ball mill and you have to do you know quite a lot more passes there because they're you know spaced together fairly closely and you get a reasonably good finish on there but um, that's the only way really to do those those things that are underneath and again here's the same joggle right under those and ha having to use the ball mill again and it's interesting here this particular path it sort of jumps and moves really quickly and then stops for a bit as it repositions and then all of a sudden there's a big movement again and, and uh, there was quite a lot of putty that Jeff put on the nose there um, so milling through it was a little tricky but uh, it actually came out pretty good so I'm happy with that and then here I'm cutting the f uh, side flange on the right hand side and because that's so close to the uh, actual fuselage itself and the angle was pretty tight and instead of using a, a flat mill to cut it again I'm using the ball mill because I can cut it on an angle with the ball mill 
and sort of get in there but it takes longer and you don't end up with such a smooth finish but it's it's good enough it just needs some sanding and so here's the uh, doing the last face cut um, on their right hand side thing so it's already started down there at the bottom where the joggle is and it's just sort of working its way up here and again I cut that into front and back because there's so many um, different uh, parts to that path needed to break it up and so here I've got the 3 8 of an inch flat end mill and I'm just doing sort of a little swarf cut on this uh, recess here where the um, where the, the foreplane sort of comes out of the nose and you see this just creates a nice smooth edge and this was broken up into about four different passes but you can see how it, how it makes a nice smooth edge on that thing. And that's our update. Until next time, thanks.